Hey campers! Are you afraid of people just because they have a hook on their hands? Do you like jump scares? Well, too bad! This list is probably not for you, actually. These are horror games for the clever masses. These guys actually have stories, so let's just get into it. This is our top 10 RPG Maker horror games for 2013. Number 10. Inspired by AoE Uni, the Hidden in the Shadow series now has a third chapter, but it isn't free and it's played in first person perspective. But we like our games free, because that's just how we roll. So, Hidden in the Shadows 2 clearly improves on the first game, and it's very creepy in an- OH MY GOD WHY IS IT SO DARK IN HERE- in the kind of way, so. It's got a sort of glitchy puzzles, but it's really a nice horror game, I promise. Jump scare. Oh, another light. Number 9. This next entry won't make sense without the two previous games in the series. So go play them now, we'll wait. Back? Great! So, One Night Full Circle offers a really good adventure plate with a lot of blood and scares along the way. Despite a storyline that seems to be all over the place, it still manages to be extremely engrossing nonetheless. In fact, it seems that there is a fourth game in development, so if you like this one, look forward to another. Number 8 Skull is one of several 2D horror games that have a great Silent Hill feel to it. The good Silent Hill games, let me stress that. With a genuinely creepy story set in a really depressing world, it's overtaken by flesh-eating diseases, among yeah, other twisted circumstances. This is the horror that won't make you fall off your chair. Instead, you will feel a recurrent chill, I promise, as you learn more about this dying world. Skull is really good psychological yeah. horror, with a hint of action scenes, and definitely including puzzles. Number 7 Aoi Oni, or Blue Demon, is one of the most popular free 2D horror games ever. Aoi Oni isn't exactly groundbreaking, it's generic cast decides to enter a generic abandoned mansion and then get hunted by a generic blue monster. It's like the plot to a really bad horror movie, but hey, let's go with it. The approach to the graphics and sound is pretty minimalistic, although the music that plays when we are being chased is quite unsettling. This is a good game. Quite scary at times, but it doesn't hold as many surprises as other titles of the genre, to be honest. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, go away, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh my god, leave me alone, 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 leave me alone. Oh, I trapped myself. Number six. Paranoiac seems to be inspired by Aoi in that we explore an empty house and suddenly there's something very bloody and nasty chasing us. Graphics have this retro charm and serve their purpose, which is to scare the living fuck out of you. Despite the creepy atmosphere and sounds, it's the chasing parts that will freak you out and make you sweat with the pressure of sudden death looming at every corner. You can hide, but that doesn't mean you won't die several times and scream in frustration. But Paranoiac is, it is frustrating, but it's in a good way. It's in a good horror game kind of way. I think you'll like it. Oh god. Oh well, I'm fucking dead. Number 5. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't get any more depressing than this. Maybe our number four, but this game really freaking tries. It has a very strong Silent Hill feel to it, and the game puts you in the shoes of a failed man named David. He moves into a new home, he tries to get a break from bad luck, right? But of course, he starts hearing people crying, finding strange messages, and he decides to discover who his previous tenant was for the apartment. But anyways, like the protagonist, the crooked man is a little bit unsuccessful in some aspects. But it does, however, manage to tell a depressing and, at the very least, mysterious tale. Number 4 This is one of the weirdest horror games ever! Mostly because it's open to a lot of interpretation, but it's crazy psychedelic. It won't appeal to all players since wandering in a nightmarish abstract landscape is a part of the alleged fun, just wandering. But the scenery is, like I said, it's really crazy psychedelic. Uh, but if you persevere through that, you will be rewarded with a mysterious and passionate tale. It's never quite explained, but it, it, it's the craziest game, but one that I promise will stay in your head for months on end. It looks like a normal forest. Number 3. Madfathered is an amazing horror adventure game with some cool artwork and very satisfying length. There's a great atmosphere to it, the plot is engrossing, and there's a few different endings. This is genuinely a scary game, and one of the finest examples of how to instill fear through a perfect mix of jump scares, atmosphere, and a crazy father who loves to conduct twisted experiments on humans. Oh, and Aya, the main character, looks a lot like an anime Alice to us, but that's completely okay in our book. Thumbs up. 
Ew. Number two. This game is gonna mess with your mind. The Witch's House is an impressive RPG maker horror game, and it's one that completely tr just messes with you. It's not just the black cat that's to blame for this. It's also the titular Witch's House. This is a place that will creep you the fuck out on many levels that even a Ghostbuster wouldn't be able to stomach. The shocking thing about this game, though, is the true ending, and I mean, it will make you rethink the entire game, and it's gonna show a thing or two to a certain M. Night Shyamalan. Now, seriously, that's a fucked up twist. And number one. <laughs> the Eve is great! I'm so glad this is on the list. This is number one. Words cannot describe the awesomeness of Eve. Okay? Nor can any screenshot really do it justice. You just gotta play this game as it is. As a game. As a horror game. Completely worthy. This game is living proof that all you need is imagination to create one of the most surprising horror games ever. Without any need for bells and whistles, honestly, every new room in this mysterious uh, art gallery has surprises in store, Re normally spine chilling, and it's just, it's a game that's just totally awesome, don't spoil it for yourself, go play it, you're never gonna forget it, Eba's is good when it launched as it will be in 20 years. This game is what, dr well, this is what nightmares are made of. Hey campers, hope you had a lot of fun here. This was our top 10 RPG Maker Horror Games for 2013. So let us know if you agree with our choices and which other games maybe you would include here in the comments below. Thank you very much. But most importantly, if you haven't played these games, I want you to enjoy them. I want you to get scared, right? And I, you know, have a new pair of pants at the ready, just in case. So until next time, bye campers.